I met a gypsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. Do you are you down to talk about like your dad going away and like the whole that whole situation and where you're at with that? Like, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll talk about it a little bit, but I'm also gonna kind of stay lenient with it because yeah, uh, yeah. I have a project coming out with Troy Adam Edison. Obviously, he's uh, gonna tell my story, um, yeah. and we're gonna try to get into some like some bigger eyes than just uh the moto community so yeah yeah um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna give you like answers but you know what i mean i'm not gonna give everything because a lot of my life is what we're gonna tell yeah 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 so i guess what are you comfortable to talk about about that <clears throat> um fire away dude Go for well, it. Well, so like, I guess, well, how old were you when, when it happened and, and what happened? Like, and you know, what can you kind of remember the, the whole deal? And uh, I think uh, I was somewhere around 13 or 14, I just think somewhere around there. And uh, I mean, we we knew or it ever be just off of like he, he, my dad was super straight up with me. So he told me or warned me about it like super early and i kind of knew for a while before it even happened but yeah, um, okay. i remember my dad came up to me and he was just I, I was like whatever i don't know i was playing xbox or something in the room and he came in and he sat down with me and like he put his arm around me and he was just like uh like i might be going away and uh that was a super hard time for me as a kid because I felt like like I didn't really understand obviously and also it was just like my dad was everything to me you know what I mean yeah. I was a daddy's boy I went with my dad everywhere so obviously that affected me and I don't know it was just it was a really weird time because it was something in the household that we knew but we didn't want to talk about like we were so into just like being with him and being present and that was all we really cared about honestly we didn't like wasn't one of those things that we would talk about really like yeah. we didn't talk about it and it just honestly felt like it was one of those things that just happened and, and do you so did you go to like were you going to like the courtroom and stuff like that and kind of were you sort of seeing the whole no nah, he never he or? never yeah no nah, i don't think he wanted me to have any type of part in that or whatever so i was always home and uh i think i was honestly he would make sure i was in georgia i think yeah. he would always make sure i was in georgia and training and wouldn't ever say anything about that so him and my mom would go through that deal and obviously i know now as i'm older but that's when they would do all that and how long uh, has he been away for uh, I mean, since I was fourteen, so yeah, so like next seven I mean, I'm twenty one now. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. How much longer is he? Nearing the end of it. Yeah, <clears throat> sick. Okay. Uh, it's as of right now. Um, I want to. I want to say it's. He's in. A, he'll be in a like a. He's he'll be out, but he won't be out in a way like it'd be like yeah, a halfway yeah. deal. Yeah. But, yeah. um. I think it's either next year or the year after. Fuck, that's so sick. And what's the, I guess, the communication and stuff been like? I mean, is it is it easy to kind of like stay tight? Uh, yeah. I mean, we we were super tight, but now we start to butt heads over racing, and it's like oh, really? just normal, like yeah, father son butting head stuff. But uh, yeah, you know, we go through our stints where we're like super, super tight, and then I'll do something that pisses them off over the weekend, and then we have to argue about it, and then we'll talk to each other again in a couple of weeks. We're in, we're in that deal right now. Oh, that, I mean, that's that's fucking rad though. That sounds like you guys are in a like a pretty good place <laughs> of it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Now we're fine. I mean, he just honestly, yeah, it's like normal. Like he just talks a lot of shit, and then me, we're like me and my dad are super we're we're both hard-headed and we're both really alike 
So we just, we're, we're always going at it, but it's, it's in a, it's in like, it's not going at it as in like in a bad way. Like it's, it's, he's saying the right things, but he just pisses me off. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, f- <laughs> I, I feel ya. I feel ya. <laughs> normal sounds, dad stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that sounds about as normal as it gets. Um, how <laughs> did that affect you? Like straight after that? I mean, did that, because again, it's like, we literally can go back to that whole weightlifting thing. It's like, you can look at that one way. It's like, all mm-hmm. right, you know, this is, uh, you know, I can kind of grow from this. I can use this for motivation or it's like, this could be the thing that kind of, it's like, fuck this, fuck the world kind of deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a little bit of everything in a way. Um, but I don't even, I don't really even know. Like I, I, I went through a stage bef- mm, right before I got to fairies and like a little bit of like maybe the first year I was at fairies where I was like, yeah, like. I don't want to say I didn't care about moto, but it was like, dude, like I was so mentally shot that like, I didn't know how to deal with anything in a way. You know what I mean? So like I just would come off fish, stand off fish and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, but honestly I didn't even care. So like a lot of people had it in their mind that I was just like some dickhead kid or whatever. And it was just me going through like the pain that I was going through you know what I mean so um yeah it was a year where I didn't even really care about dirt bikes in a way and then honestly it wasn't until uh I was at the ferries where I really started to like relearn loving dirt bikes yeah yeah I mean fuck dude it makes sense like it's such a heavy thing uh to go through and then I feel like there's probably a lot of pressure that you felt to like take care of your mom as well. Um, you know, and then Mm -hmm. it's like, you've got to be away training while your mom's at home and going through that whole deal. So, I mean, that's, it is a lot for Mm -hmm. like a young kid to have to take on. Exactly. It's a lot more than what, you know, like the normal people, they don't, they don't think about like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm being sent off here. And like, Oh, another dickhead kid thinks he's too good. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I, I like, I was, I know like a lot of my money went to just making sure like everything was good at home. Honestly, like I would, I would go and I'd win the super mini classes or whatever. And then like, I would come back home and then it'd be like, oh, the, uh, like my my mom or my grandma would be home. My mom would be working because she would get up at three or four o'clock in the morning and not come back until six just off trying to make enough money you know mm. and i remember i'd come back from training or whatever and this was a while i was at fairies actually so i would come back from their house and i would be back in bellevue and my grandma would be like uh like don't don't turn on the ac like your mom can't afford it so i would always just try to cover whatever would help my mom out in a way you know what i mean whether that was groceries or making sure the electricity was on or whatever like I always tried to make sure she was getting that so that's where like a lot of my amateur money went honestly it was just like home and then I have two little brothers too and like obviously I don't want them to know it's a struggle like you know what I mean like we hid that honestly in a way like no everything's fine If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.